Info Security TV. Hello, I'm joined today by Tom Whip, Head of Risk at Oval Limited. Um, so firstly, Tom, I just wanted to ask you what you're looking to get out of the show. Oh, I think like most years, it's a chance to catch up with the vendors we already use, um, get them all in one place, stop them hassling you in the office. Um, it's good to hear some of the industry thoughts, uh, go to some of the seminars. Um, and then it's nice to bump into various people I know and you know catch a beer with them if you can. Yeah. So. so we're more than halfway through day one now. Yeah. What kind of topics are you hearing that are hot? What are we? What are, what's everybody talking about? Um, well, I don't think I've been around everyone. There's a lot of people here. Uh, the things that I've been looking at are very much on the governance side. Um, so the threat landscapes, the instant response processes. Um, that seems to be something that people have been growing into over the last five years or so it's still going on now um, it's nice to have the info breach survey out again this year um, yeah, that, that's always informative uh, in terms of particular topics you know, that's what I've been looking at is there anything in the breach survey the results that surprised you I don't think there's anything surprising um, the two things that really stand out for me are for all the fact that the, the numbers they're talking about sound quite scary, I still think there's a big degree of underreporting. I don't think it shows what's really there. I think it shows a percentage of it. Um, I think it's nice to see that they're starting to ask about the drivers for security. And it's nice to see that they're starting to talk about um, how people are assessing return on investment and the value that people are deriving from it. However, the upshot of that is that I think the drivers for security are very much um, you know, picture postcard kind of things at the moment. There's very, very uh, low levels of people using it as a business enabler, and really that ought to be your main business case. And the amount of work that people are doing on return on investment is pretty limited. And if you look in other fields, like say physical security, everything they do would be assessed like that. And I think as an industry, we need to learn more about that. No, that's a very good answer. Um, so looking forward, perhaps towards the end of the year or moving into the show next year, perhaps, what do you think we should be worrying about or concerned about? What's on the threat landscape? Well, I think the amount of attacks that are specifically targeted is quite clearly on the increase. And if you look at the attacks that happen, you have quite a lot of these sort of graffiti style um, expression type attacks. You have an organized crime thing that I think from what I'm hearing is probably plateaued but is still a serious threat. Uh, but the amount of visibility and the amount of um, noise coming out of very targeted, very capable attacks, um, you know, people use the IPT phrase, I don't really like it but it's what people talk about. Um, but really the, the targeted industrial and commercial hacking from nation states, I think that's clearly going to be something that drives the industry going forward. What about attack vectors? We talked about the size of attacks there, but what about where, what the hackers are using to conduct the attacks? Well, I think that, that's an ever-changing um, mix, but when you say ever-changing, it does tend to fall into the bucket of um, particular technical techniques that come in through either your web access, probably less so email these days, but still an element of that. Uh, I think there is an increasing focus on the blended attacks where people are specifically targeting individuals um, on the basis of the information they can gather from social networking. There is also, uh, certainly from what I read, a much greater ability for people without technical capabilities of their own to go out and buy custom-built malware uh, on the black market. So I think the, the technical vectors, in a sense, are what they've always been, but the the range of variants and the degree of specific targeting is definitely increasing. What about awareness about information security? I think the awareness that people have over the threats is, is always increasing. Have you seen, yeah. an ex, to an extent, have you seen that happening over the last year since the last show? Uh, awareness by who? The public. I actually have a concern on that. I, I almost think the public are fatigued by it. Um, you know, there, there is such a deluge of uh, breach notifications coming out and you look at um, organisations that have had very major breaches, if you, look, you look at the well-known sportswear breach a couple of years back, yes they've had a lot of technical issues, yes they've had quite a lot of fines, 
But actually, on a pure business level, I don't think that's changed consumer behaviour at all. Um, and in fact, I can't think of a single security breach that has actually led to a change in consumer behaviour, de demonstrably. So I think the, the level of awareness by consumers is probably quite high, but I do worry that they probably have a, per a perception that actually there's very little they can do about it. They don't feel like there are different vendors they can work with to have a better security experience as a consumer. That's, that's very interesting. And I think like you alluded to there, a lot of the publicity around information security is the negative things that are happening, the breaches, the failures. What are we doing right as an industry? I think we're starting to ask the right questions. Um, and I had a chat with the PwC guys after the breach survey um, presentation today. And on a, a total volume of spend, I think we are probably now spending about the right amount of money on information security. The, the amount that we're spending is roughly equivalent to the amount that breaches are co costing us now, within very, very broad terms. Um, so I don't think we're at the point where we just need to say we need to spend more and more and more and more. I think we're probably nearing the level of that. I think what we need to do is we need to drive more efficiencies out of it. We need to look at where we can simplify solutions. And there's probably a, a point in the next couple of years where um, boards need to start asking, OK, what security can we take out in order to fund the new security that we need? Okay, well, thank you very much. That's positive to hear. Right. No problem. Thank you. Info Security Europe, Europe's number one information security event.